He also said, you said in the meeting, this is him quoting you, I just want to check, that the shutdown could go on for months or even a year or longer. Did you say that? And I is did. That your, I did. Is that Border your assessment secure, of I did where we are? That. Absolutely, I said that. I don't think it will, but I am prepared, and I think uh, I can speak for Republicans in the House and Republicans in the Senate. They feel very strongly about having a safe country, having a border that uh, makes sense without borders. I've said it many times, we don't have a country. Uh, I hope it doesn't go on even beyond a few more days. It really could open very quickly. Uh, I told them that uh, bring who you want. We have three people. You can ideally bring three, but you can bring six, you can bring nine, you can bring 12. And they're going to be working over the weekend. I think it may have been somewhat contentious, but I think it was very productive. I have to say that. And I think he said that, too. Mr. President, why not reopen the government to create more space to have that broader conversation Well, we about think it could go very quickly. Uh, no, we won't be opening until it's uh, solved. We think this is a much bigger problem. The border is a much more dangerous problem. It's a much bigger problem. It's a problem of national security. It's a problem of terrorists. You know, I talk about human traffickers. I talk about drugs. I talk about gangs. But a lot of people don't say, we have terrorists coming through the southern border because they find that's probably the easiest place to come through. They drive right in and they make a left. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. So, so we're not going to do that. We won't be uh, doing pieces. We won't be doing it in drips and drabs. And I built a lot of the wall. We've been working very, very hard. We've renovated a tremendous Sometimes that's what happens in a negotiation. It does take longer than it should. And sometimes you agree to things that could have been agreed to two weeks ago. But that's just the way a negotiation is. I mean, we, we set out a number, 5.6 billion. We're very firm on a number. We also explained that, as you probably understand, uh, the military is very affected. We may use the military for parts of it. Uh, homeland security, obviously, is very affected. We may, in addition to the 5.6, we will use homeland security funds. So we have things happening in addition to the 5.6, but we have to get a structure built. Mr. President, Mr. President, two questions for you. Are you still proud to own this shutdown? Well, you know, I, I appreciate the way you say that, but once uh, — I'm very proud of doing what I'm doing. I don't call it a shutdown. I call it doing what you have to do for the benefit and for the safety of our country. But — Very nice question, so beautifully asked, even though I just answered it. You didn't answer Look, let me the just tell you — excuse me, excuse me, Congress excuse me, yet, you ready? — The fact that I'm not saying it was an easy meeting or even a kind meeting or a nice meeting, but in the end, I think we've come a long way. We're going to be working very hard over the weekend, and we'll see if we can do something. So you can call it whatever you want. You can call it the Schumer or the Pelosi or the Trump shutdown. Doesn't make any difference to me. Just words. And that'll take place.